What's up, Thenx athletes? My name is Donald Leva. I am an Olympic gymnast, a retired Olympic gymnast, but today I'm gonna to show you how to do a flare. I went to two Olympics. I was at the 2012 and 2016 Olympics in London and Rio. It took a lot of work, right? Had to be strong in a lot of different ways, and today I'm gonna to show you something that, although technically it's very gymnastics-centric, it's something that you could do at home. The entire point of gymnastics is to make things look effortless, right? But the way to do that is to be incredibly strong in a way that people won't notice that you're actually struggling. And so this skill specifically is something that, as gymnasts, we make look pretty simple, but it takes up so many different muscle groups in the body and you have to be so dynamic that it actually makes it really difficult. So let's try and show you that today. First, I'm gonna show you the actual skill, what it looks like, and then I'll try and break it down for you. All right, check it out. So that's the flare. What I want to explain first is that a flare is actually an advanced version of something that's just called a circle in gymnastics, right? Which essentially, it's what I just showed you, but with your feet together. Now, normally you would learn it first on a little mushroom where you have more space away from the ground, but we're gonna jump through all those steps and we're gonna go advanced right away. Now again, before you start all of this, make sure you get a really good warm up, right? I'm on a softer floor, so I have a lot of wiggle room to kind of hit my ankle or my heel or even fall on my elbow or on my back because it's soft and it's bouncy. But if you're trying this at home, make sure that you, you warm up really well. Your wrists are very important. You need them to be warm. Warm up your shoulders really well. Warm up your back and your legs and everything. So this is the first breakdown. You wanna think about doing things in quarters, right? Instead of doing a whole circle, you're gonna do things in a, in a quarter. So work this first quarter, right? What you wanna do is put your hands kind of shoulder width apart, right? You wanna be nice and sturdy. A real quick tip, it's a lot about leaning, right? It's counterbalancing yourself. The majority of your body is gonna be over there, which means that your shoulder needs to be a little over on this side. And then when your body comes in the front, you're gonna put both hands. When it comes to this side, obviously, constant counterbalancing. So, what you wanna do, shoulder width apart, spread your legs. Now, you gotta also find which is your strongest side, right? Try both sides, see which one feels best. So again, here, use your base, wind up, stop. So for that first step, you're gonna feel a lot on your shoulder. You're gonna feel a lot of tricep working as well. A lot of core work. It's, it's a pretty solid full body workout in the sense that you need to hold yourself up in the air for the entire time. So, like I said, step one, first quarter, boom. Now, once you've mastered that, that you feel really strong on this arm or with this arm, whichever way you go, then you can try and keep going to the front. Quarter stop, all right? Now, I'm on a softer floor, right? So it doesn't really hurt for me to land on my heels or anything like that. If you're on hard ground and you're trying this, try and land with your foot flat. So you're here, wind up, foot flat, then here. And that actually helps you figure out that your hips need to be pretty high up, right? Now again, counterbalancing, you're leaning. Don't think too much front and back, think more side to side. Step two, half, boom. Doesn't matter if you come off, it's all good. Step three, all the way three quarters. And stop, you see, it's easy. And you can kind of slide it like that too and you'll find yourself. And try and really find your positioning, your body position, right? Stop here, right? And step four is a full circle. All the way around. Yeah? Amazing. Now, if you can try and put that together, you got a flare. And you can do a bunch. Once you get comfortable with it, once you find your balance, your spacing, and your what you need to tighten, what you need to swing in the right time, you'll do a bunch, as much as your body can handle. So like I said, that skill is basically broken down into four steps in this video. And skills in gymnastics, it's, it's a little more based off of like what you feel, you know what I mean? Like, are you, do you feel ready to move to the next step? If you do feel ready, go ahead and try it out. If you can't make it, that's perfectly fine. There's no shame in taking a step back, working on that first step again, and then building up to that second step, and then from second to third, and third to fourth. 
it's really no shame in taking a step back. Take your time with all the stuff. Feel really confident. When you, when you feel that you can almost hold yourself up without needing that support of your leg, then move on to that second step. And kind of same thing. When you feel that your butt isn't immediately landing on the ground, then you can move on to that third step. And same thing with the first step. When you feel that your leg can kind of almost float before you, you need to put it down for that third step, then you can move on to the fourth. Other than that, feel your body, trust your body, and work from there. I think the good thing about this skill, I mean, I will say back in the day, it, a lot of people use this way more, especially on their floor routine. You know, it, if you did a certain amount that you went up into a handstand and back down, it was, a, it was worth a certain amount and it was actually like pretty high up. There, there's a lot of people that used to use it and it was, it was beautiful. You needed a lot of flexibility and strength and it made you very strong. Now people try and do way more tumbling and it's it's a lot like a lot more time based so they try and focus on putting all their time and flipping and all that stuff but this it's just a really cool skill so if you're not a gymnast and you just want to learn this for the sake of looking cool then by all means do that and it will make you very strong. All right guys thank you so much for watching remember we post at 10 a.m every Monday Eastern Standard Time. I hope you learned something I hope you were able to figure this out at home Remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to follow me, I'm on Instagram and YouTube. Instagram is Donna J. Leva. And my YouTube, I'm pretty sure, is also the same thing. Otherwise, we'll put it in one of these tags somewhere around here. Click on my face. You know what I mean? I don't even know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.